Hi, my name is Nigel Swartz from the Tasmanian Institute of Agriculture. I lead the National Pits for Profit Production Systems Project, and I'm here with Jen Risley from Pome West at Fox Orchards in uh, Pemberton. And we're here to talk about one of the regional demonstration sites uh, as part of this uh, production systems program. So Jen, uh, we're here at uh, Matt Fox's orchard and we're looking at some of the renovation work that he's done. Yeah. Uh, Jen, what are we hoping to achieve from, from this block and the research that we're doing here? Yeah, so this is an example of infield grafting. So the producer has changed cultivar from Fuji over to Granny Smith. And we are going to be studying the impacts of thinning in the first couple of years on return bloom and how that's going to impact the uh, long-term speed of, of getting the block up to really profitable, uh, uh, high-performance yields uh, and vigour. So we've got a couple of different measurements that we're, we're looking at. We've, we've applied two different crop load systems, a high crop load and low crop load uh, in the first year. Uh, we've already been through our first season and in the not too distant future we'll be looking at return bloom for spring of 2024. How did you apply the crop load treatments Jen? Yeah so the producer led quite a lot of that decision making so when they were going through and making thinning decisions taking in what the tree was looking like and the performance of, uh, of the infield graft they would apply the, the treatments and then we have um, come in and, and uh, basically taken samples from the high crop load and low crop load systems to, to see how they're going to go. Um, some of the grafts have done quite well with a dual graft system and others we've got two litres uh, that are coming from one graft on one side of the plant. So we've got a couple of different conditions that we're looking at here, um, but I guess that just goes to show what, what you're looking at in a real infield situation um, when, when a farm is taking on uh, some of these decisions. Yeah, excellent. Uh, what kind of yield is the grower getting already from this second or third leaf? And are you taking fruit quality measurements as well? Yeah, definitely. So I need to get back to you on what, what this, um, this block did yield. Uh, but we're, we're only looking at sort of the, the second leaf sure. um, from, from this system. Uh, we, we are definitely looking at quality because uh, yield, uh, yield's not the only thing that a producer needs to consider when they're looking at profitability, as we know. Uh, so we're, we're taking into consideration the, the size and, uh, and quality as well. Hmm. So one of the key uh, aspects of this program is to look at the, the actual profitability outcomes of the research trials that we're doing. So we will take an economic lens on each one of these uh, different treatments that Jen's imposed to look at how long it takes to do the treatment, how long it takes to get, a, get to a full canopy, um, some of the light uh, implications that that might have, and then how uh, fruit quality might lead to improved um, overall profitability under these two different systems. Mm -hmm.